At that time, one of the monks, he somehow intuitively knew that the Buddha wanted Anand. Ah, so, oh, that time Anand didn't exist yet. I mean, he's there, but he's not famous. Ah. So he, and other people also understood that. So, okay. And then Sariputra and Maudagala Yayana come, come up and to me and say, Anan, me mean Anan, yeah? Anan, uh, I think the Buddha wants you to be his attendant. Uh, you have more merit than us. Okay, come get up quickly. And then ask the Buddha, okay, to, be, to allow you to be his attendant. And then all of us also uh, rely on your merit. Yeah. So he listened and he stood up and came to the Buddha. Oh, no, he says to, to the two uh, monks first. Mm. They say, like, uh, very humble, he say, uh, both uh, great uh, elder reverence, yes. Um, the, the world honor one has immense merit, and uh, his uh, wisdom is unfathomable, yeah? If I go near and serve him, Maybe I won't be able to, to do it well. And then if, if I do it all wrong, then I make karma, and then it's bad for me, what to do? <laughs> so the Sariputra say, but we observe that the world honor one pay attention to you a lot. I think Buddha thinks you can do it. So he would like you to become his attendant. So I heard the two uh, great reverends say that I don't know what to do anymore. Meaning, Anan, Anan doesn't, uh, not I. Uh, oh, I wouldn't have that such a merit. I wouldn't don't know what to do. So I, uh, okay. So I said, if the two great elderly reverends think thus, then please come and uh, ask the Buddha for me. But. In order to be the Buddha's attendant, I request three uh, privilege. What do you think he asked? Not, not the nun, you know. Not the monk, you know. What do you think Anand requests? Three favor, three privilege. What did he want? What can Anand want from the Buddha who has nothing? <laughs> tell me. Tell me. If you don't tell me, I keep drinking. <laughs> Huh? You think he wants money from Buddha? Who knows? Wisdom? No, the Buddha already give him the way to practice, and then he will have his own wisdom. Sutras. He wants sutras from Buddha. Buddha has nothing. Ability to remember everything. That he has already. Good, but it's good that you know. Maybe, yeah. What love? To serve. To, to serve? Good serving ability? No, to serve. Yeah, I, I want to serve you. Uh, well, he already, he's going to do it. It's not okay. Serve with, uh, with the good ability? Yeah, maybe, okay. Enlightenment. Enlightenment, he already <laughs> gave him. Secret teaching. He want Buddha secret teaching. <laughs> Ta -ta -ta. <laughs> Buddha has no room. He lives in the mountain next to the the vulture. <laughs> what else? Immortality. He wants Buddha to have a successor, yes. to, to pick a successor first. Okay, understand. Okay. He thinks that he wants the Buddha to pick a successor first, and then after that maybe use a successor or maybe use Anand together. Uh, yeah, is right? Okay, okay, good. What else? Immortality, the golden, golden Buddha, is it? Immortality. 
immortality. He won Buddha immortality or him or Anand immortality. I don't. Ananda. Ananda want to have immortality. Right. Okay. Because when the Buddha asks for immortality, Anand just zip, say nothing. That's why Buddha died. Mm. Okay. Good. Anything else? To have cut the ego, help cut the ego. Oh, that Buddha cannot do. You gotta do it yourself. <laughs> the more he help, the more you get angry at the Buddha. <laughs> then you might live. <laughs> it's not not easy to help anyone to cut the ego. They will hate you. Hmm? Sincere heart. What love? Sincere heart. Sincere heart. One Buddha, sincere heart. heart. <laughs> Anand wants sincere heart. Oh, uh, Anand wants the Buddha help him to have a sincere heart. Is he not sincere ever? Oh, oh man. <laughs> All right. Typing <laughs> machine. Typing machine. Typing machine. Recording machine. <laughs> Anand wants his mother, no. Buddha's mother, to accept the mother. No, that, that's another time. That's a long after he became, he was attendant already when he asked. To be always his number one disciple. Ah, to be the best disciples and always stick around like you guys want it? Oh, <laughs> typical, typical. <laughs> Don't even know can do or not. I want to stick around. Yeah, everybody wants but cannot do. Anand, even though he wasn't all that enlightened, but still, he's not all that mundane like you. <laughs> stick around, <laughs> eternal life, <laughs> blessing, whatever, no? He's unconditional. He's a monk. He was a good monk as that. Very good monk. Maybe he's not so quickly enlightened like Sariputra or other great monks' disciples, but he's not mundane, understand? He's very pure and good. But he was very handsome. That's why the Buddha don't let him wear or show in one shoulder even. Cover everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, as I told you already, huh? even one shoulder. <laughs> no wonder the men are, you know, tightening them up here, you know. <laughs> I feel sorry for the men, you know, apart from having to shave every day that we don't have to. They have to wear, you know, tight on butterfly and tuxedo or whatever. I don't know why. Hmm? Maybe the Buddha knows. <laughs> Yeah, we have things too high and they cut the V shape all the way down here. Why bother cutting that? Huh? Why don't just, you know, just open it up? Because the V shape too deep. You know, whenever you bend down, all your treasure is just exposed. <laughs> I mean, that's why, that's why we have to hide. Men have nothing, all flat and plain, <laughs> plain, you know? Yeah, do you have anything in there? Nothing. <laughs> then why, you know, their shirts are all the way up to here. I mean, even T-shirt is very covered, you know? I want that kind of T-shirt. I can never find it. And then one day I saw one of the male monks working in, in, in water electricity. I said, where did you get this T-shirt? Mind you, I could have noticed, but normally I don't go out that much. You know, I'm almost like cut off with the wall. So I saw the monk wearing a T-shirt, and it looked like that, you know, like that, like, like this one, like that one, the right one. You know, the neck or the, to here inside of V-shape. So you go out, buy me some of that. He said, but this is for men only, Master. I said, never mind, man, woman, I want that. <laughs> I cannot buy. But for the men, you mostly big, even medium size. They don't have small size. Or medium size, so I wear like three, three times bigger. <laughs> Had a lot of room for rent. <laughs> but still, I like it here, you know, cover up here, yeah. Not like I'm modest or anything. I wouldn't tell you anything like that. What I mean is it's warmer here for me. And at least give me a choice, you know. If I want to show, then I cut it myself. <laughs> <laughs> 
force on me like that. Force me to always have to show stuff. I like to do things voluntarily. I don't like, I don't like to be forced. <laughs> so I have uh, some of that, you know, and they go out and bought me out the whole shop. And they say, that's all you got? Only six? He said, that's all they have, Master. Everything else is <laughs> bigger, bigger. And other color with, you know, I love you, baby, and all that stuff. <laughs> Printed in the front, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, all kinds of, <laughs> you know, macho of the day, thing like that, you know. <laughs> so we can buy it for you. I said, okay, okay, that's good, that's good. <laughs> yes, you have fun, huh? Mm. Okay, good. But the Buddha is also troublesome. Why didn't he just say Anan? <laughs> you know, he be my attendant. Why, he has to work through the Sariputra and 500 disciples, monk disciples, and to get his own attendant, huh? I don't know why. Is the Buddha so shy or something? Is he shy? Huh? Maybe he's shy. <laughs> yeah, maybe Buddha doesn't want to... Even he didn't ask for attendance, you know. A, the monk disciple thought he might need one, so they come up and volunteer. Yeah. But even though if he likes Ananda, he just say easy. You know, maybe he didn't want to ask, right? But he make five people come in front of him, kneel down, prostrate, and talk, <laughs> and everybody say no. Then why didn't he say don't bother? You know, I would think about it, or I want Anand. He probably want people to volunteer. Is has more merit than for him to say, ah, oh, I want you and you to do this and that for me. Yeah? Maybe like that. Huh? Yeah. Now, he requests, if he was to be the attendant of Buddha, then he requested three favors, yeah? Three privilege. Number one, if the Buddha has old clothes, he will not want to accept it. Old clothes, don't give it to Anand. Anand would, doesn't want to have Buddha owes clothes. What do you think? He want new stuff? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> what kind of a monk who just want new stuff? Never mind, maybe he does, who knows? Let's check it out why, okay? Number two, whatever the Buddha ate left over, do not give it to me. He want to eat the new new food only? Tja, <laughs> want new clothes? Huh? And new food. Cha has not become a tendon yet already so picky, you think? You think he's like that? No. Yes or no? No. no? Why he say he just don't want the old clothes from Buddha, I don't want the leftover food from Buddha? Hmm. Okay. Number three is uh, uh, meaning that um, depends on the season and the time. Hmm. Only he himself will take care for the Buddha. If the Buddha accepts these three conditions, then he will be his attendant. So the two great disciples, monks, came up and tell all that to the Buddha. Then the Buddha explained like this, Anand, why he doesn't want to wear my old clothes? Because he was wise, you know, thinking, ahead in the future, he worried that other disciples get jealous of him. Because even though the Buddha's old clothes is mostly is offered by kings and officials and rich people, so the clothes are very uh, expensive, beautiful, even though a monk's clothes, but good material, good quality, good uh, sewing, yeah? Okay. So therefore, he worried that other people think that because of greed for beautiful materials and clothes from the Buddha, therefore he wanted to become an attendant. So he tried to avoid that. That's why he asked that Buddha old garment will not be given to him, okay? And then the second, why he doesn't want to eat the same food left over from the Buddha, yes, because he worry that other disciples thinking, oh, even though it's a leftover food from the Buddha's uh, um, bowl, mm, but there's still hundreds of precious, rare nutrition. Yeah, it's very difficult to find on this planet. Mm. 
So people might think because he loved to eat this kind of rare food, for he want, therefore he want to become Buddha's attendant. Yeah, this boy, he worries so much. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> as long as you have good clothes, good food, why worry so much? And the third, he worried that other people, outside people, whatever, keep asking Buddha's things or bringing things in the wrong time and uh, disturbing the Buddha's meditation in time. So he said he has to take care of the schedule. Mm-hmm. And also to be an attendant. He should know what is the season to bring what kind of food, more suitable, and what time, like that. Yeah. So that the Buddha's body becomes strong and healthy. Everything must be really taken care of accordingly, correctly, for the Buddha's wellness. Yeah. That's why he asks like that. He said he is the one who takes care according to the seasons and time schedule. Nobody else should interfere with that. Yeah? So he's, he's near the Buddha, he should know what kind of Buddha like and what kind of uh, food is suitable for him. Maybe his body not well today, then he give what, you know? But if everybody else interfere and always want to come and give this, give that all the time, any time, then he doesn't like that. He said he's the only one should be able to uh, take care of the Buddha's food accordingly, according to time and uh, season. Okay. But you uh, should know it's not just this day, it's not just in this lifetime that he asks for this. So like uh, offering food according to seasons, yeah, not only this lifetime. A long time ago, past life, he also served me and also do this, yes. Maybe that's why he knows everything. Huh? He knows what the Buddha Buddha wants and what time should give what. <laughs>